Hey guys, it's your girl Shalay and I'm back today with a video all about EBT. In today's video, we're going to discuss the emergency allotment in which states have extended for the month of September. And spoiler alert guys, some people already have extended for October, so yeah. Then we're gonna discuss pandemic EBT as well as disaster EBT. We already learned that last week, but if you're new on the bus, hello, we'll talk about disaster EBT as well as food assistance programs. So if you wanna know what is going on in the lovely world of EBT, my darling, you already know what to do. Stay tuned, your girl's got you covered. Now, if this is your first time tuning into my channel, oh my gosh, darling, let me get comfortable, okay? Where have you been? Hi, hello, hey friend. My name is Shalay, and here on this channel, we talk about shopping, saving, and everything in between. I would love to have you a part of my internet family, super easy. Click that big old red subscribe button down below and you are in just like that. And while you're at it, go ahead and give me a like because you love me bringing to you this content each and every single week. So let's go ahead and get to it. Guys, the last video, I know I was missing some states, but that's because you know the states decided to update at the last minute and I just don't move when they move just like that, okay? But I'm gonna go ahead and say which states will be getting EBT and I'll just go ahead or emergency allotment for month of September, which means you get the maximum amount of food stamps for the month of September. So if one person max is $194, doesn't matter if you were getting $16 before, you get the full 194, okay? Which, can I come to your house to eat? All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and give out the pay dates as well. So the first one, Alabama, September 29th, Alaska, October 1st through 10th, Arkansas, September 15th, 20th, 25th, California, the month of September emergency allotment will be paid October 18th, Colorado, September 5th, Connecticut, September 15th, 18th, and 25th, Delaware, September 30th, District of Columbia, September 19th and October 3rd, Florida, September 10th, Georgia, September 25th through the 30th. So somewhere near you're gonna get it. In Guam, September 18th, Hawaii, October 12th, Idaho, October 11th through the 15th, Illinois, September 21st through the 29th, depending on your case number, Indiana, regular schedule, Iowa, normal issue, regular schedule, Kansas, October 15th through the 24th, Kentucky, September 2nd, Louisiana, September 15th, 17th, 24th, October 1st, October 8th. So at some point, if you don't get it by October 8th, then have something to say. Massachusetts, October 1st. Maine, October 10th. Maryland, your regular schedule. Michigan, September 20th. Minnesota, October 12th through the 16th. Mississippi, September 2nd. Missouri, regular benefit via regular date. Montana, September 2nd through the 6th. Nevada, October 10th. New Hampshire, September 8th. New Jersey, September 1st through the 5th. New Mexico, it plans to issue it as a staggered schedule over the month of September. New York, New York City, September 16th through September 29th. The rest of the state, September 15th through September 25th. North Carolina, September 22nd through October 1st. North Dakota, September 17th. Ohio, September 24th. Oklahoma, September 10th through the 15th. Oregon, three different dates. September 10th, September, what is it? It has September 10th, September 29th, and October 1st. Pennsylvania, based on the last digit of your record number, and that's anywhere between September 17th through the 30th, and then they'll clean up and issue again on November 6th. Rhode Island, based on the last digit of your record number, September 17th through the 30th as well. South Carolina, your regular schedule. South Dakota, October 19th and the 31st. Tennessee, your regular schedule, honey. Texas, September 7th through 11th. Utah, September 27th. Vermont, October 15th. Virginia, September 16th. Vir Virgin Islands, September 13th. Washington State, regular issue date. West Virginia, September 4th. Another run, run schedule, October 8th. Wisconsin, September 19th. And then Wyoming, September 2nd through the 5th. Now guys, there has been some states that have been already approved for the emergency assistance benefits for October. I'm not gonna mention those states because if your state is only like two, okay, two. So I don't want people to be like, my state never does it. We don't even wanna get your blood pressure up. So for those that ask, could it be October? Quite possibly, but we know October, there's supposed to be a 5% 
increase as well as whatever happens with Congress. Congress is trying to get pandemic pandemic EBT back approved as well as retroactivated from the start of the school year. Then they're also looking at doing an increase in 15% in women, infant, and children and in SNAP benefits. So I guess with all that going on, you may just get some more money, okay? So the moment I find out a little bit more states or what Congress is gonna do, you already know, I got you, boo, okay? But as of right now, pipe down. All right, so now if you stay in West Virginia and you are a senior that is 60 or older for spouses, children, and disabled adults living with them, the residents of Brook and Hancock counties who find themselves financially strapped for food may be eligible for two food assistance programs. One is the West Virginia Strong Summer Food Assistance Program. Residents in financial need and meet the above criteria that I just named, you're 60 or older, can get boxes of food on a weekly basis at the Brook County Senior Center. The only problem is this, the program is not available to you if you are already receiving food assistance from another program. So if you do have it, you stay in West Virginia, pass it on, sharing is caring, guys. All right, moving on to Florida in Palm Beach County. They are issuing prepaid debit cards. That means that is money, not EBT cards, prepaid debit cards to approve re residents to actually purchase food. Now, if you are an eligible resident and you have experienced loss of income regarding the pandemic, a one-time benefit allowance based on your household size and the maximum amounts, and these can be made on all purchases through December 30th. Food support for two people in a household is $400 on a prepaid debit card. For four people is $800. And then for five or more people, that's $1,000. Now they do have an application process. And on there, if you receive rental or utility assistance through the CARES program, you still may apply for it as well. For eligible residents, you can go to pbcgov.com forward slash Oscars or you can call 561-355-4792 and that's Palm Beach County debit card. So if you have to Google, you can go there and you can honestly get some additional money. Why not do it? All right here, so that was in Florida. Now I'm looking for all types of programs as well in each and every state. So if I don't say your state, don't get mad because I'm checking. All right, so in Texas, we know that all these hurricanes have been coming through. Governor Abbott announced federal approval for SNAP benefits in disaster counties. So on Tuesday, he announced that if you are in one of these counties, that you will get money back or SNAP for your food loss destroyed due to Hurricane Laura and the eight impacted counties. I talked about this in the other video, Louisiana is doing the same thing. I think California is doing something regarding um, the wildfires and the storms or the smoke and the fog and everything that's going on out there as well. But I talked about it in the last video and I think it's somebody else who reports on EBT specifically just for California. So you may want to check out his video. I'll try to see if I can link it in the cards. Hey, Sharon is Karen. You know what I mean? Give it up to our other YouTubers. All right. So if you are in Texas and you are in Hardin, Jefferson, Newton, Orange, Sabin, Sabine, Maybe I'm thinking of saving like Nick Saban. Okay, <laughs> Sabine, St. August, San Augustine, Shelby, and Tyler. The SNAP recipients in those eight impacted counties do not need to take any action to receive your replacement benefits. A percentage of the benefit allotment for August will automatically be put on the regular SNAP, SNAP households. So even if you wasn't affected, if you were affected, they're gonna give you the money, okay? If you're in Texas and you're in one of those counties and you receive SNAP assistance. Now it will be placed on your Lone Star cards by September 18th, according to the government officials. Individuals in these counties have until September 30th to report food loss or request action or additional benefits um, to automatically be replaced. So you should automatically get it by the 18th, which is today. You should have already received it for August, but if you don't, you have until September 30th to try to get your benefits on there. And I think that's pretty good. And if you're in California, Louisiana, check out the other video or I'll link the other guy to see what you can get as well.
Now also, DHR wants to remind you that people are sending out text messages and personal if requesting personal information like your social security, bank account number, your SNAP electronic benefits card or PIN numbers. And these people are claiming to be that they are, I guess, like working for DHR or, you know, we should know by now, like not if they request anything, like we should know this, but nonetheless, the identity thieves are using new tricks in hopes to catching SNAP recipients off guard during this time and heightened uncertainty. It is important to take precautions necessary to protect your identity as well as the integrity of this vital program. So if you should never send out your personal information to any unfamiliar person or organization. You should not click any links on any text messages. And according to DHR, you should be cautious of those pressuring you to act now. A lot of people have been getting their benefits taken. Now also on here, they have going on, if you stay in Brevard Extension Service, it's hosting two farmer's markets where individuals can obtain $50 in CARES Act dollars in the form of tokens to purchase fruits, vegetables, honey, coffee, eggs, herbs, and others. And so they have those who were um, impacted by the pandemic are eligible for these tokens for a self-declaration form will be available on site. So a lot of these food markets, you might want to check in your area, but a lot of these like farmers markets or food markets are doing just like specifically to your area where they will give $30, $50, where you can use that to purchase food for their residents. And so, hey, if you do have that, definitely check it out. This one is in, it looks like Melbourne on there as well. So, I mean, checking your area, there's so much information out there. We're in doubt. You can always dial 211 from your phone and ask about any food assistance programs and they should be able to help you as well. So this is all that I have as of right now before people ask, is October going to have emergency allotment benefits? Some states have been approved, but I guess it's just going to have to see what happens with Congress. Let me know down in the comments below. Are you excited about your benefits? What have you spent your money on? Do you want pandemic EB? back. I want it back for you. The moment I find out, I will let you know. As always, please like, comment, subscribe, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye guys.